Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show how to do goods reserved in SAP EWM system. TRN EWM system. I'm going to show that in the live system. Okay. So this is what the data flow is. I'm going to create a purchase order in S4 system. HANA system. And I'm going to do inbound delivery in S4 system. Now data will be transported to EWM system. There in the EWM system, I'm going to do goods recepting. In the in return from when you do goods recept in EWM system, it gets the, the inventory gets updated in the again it gets updated in the S4 system. Okay. So that is what I'm going to show you. Let's go to the S4 system. This is S4. HANA system. Go to ME21N. I'm going to create a purchase order. Okay. Enter supplier number enter purchase organization enter purchasing group enter currency euro so i'm going to enter material seven which i have already created in s4 system now enter plan z triple one is s is the plan enter quantity press enter enter storage location also Z 100. So confirmation control, inbound delivery. Press enter and save it. So I have created purchase order in HANA system, S4 HANA system. Let me take this out. I just put this here. Purchase order number. Now, based on this purchase order number, I'm going to do inbound delivery. Slash in. I'm coming up PL 31 yen. PL 31 yen. External ID. I'm entering purchase order number. Press enter. So now I'm going to, I'm not going to do anything here. I'm just going to save it. So I have just saved it. I take this inbound delivery number also. This is the inbound delivery number. So now I'm going to do goods receipt in. I'm going to do goods receipt in EWM system. Before that, let me check the inventory. MMB. So material is seven. Plant is Z triple one. Story location is Z hundred. Execute. So already ten is there. Okay, now I'm going to do goods reserved in EWM system. So go to in easy access, go to SCM logistics, SCM EWM uh, extended warehouse management, extended warehouse management, delivery processing, inbound delivery. This is the maintain inbound delivery. Okay, the transaction code is slash SCWM slash PRDI. Double click. Now select logistics execution delivery based on your delivery number, inbound delivery number, execute. So now it has come to EWM system. This is the EWM system. See, double link, you'll be able to see. So this is the EWM system. When you see goods reserved here, not started. This is the goods reserved here, not started. So now I'm going to do goods reserved here. See here, this is the goods reserved. Okay, goods reserved, save, plus save. When you click on to goods reserved, automatically it gets saved. So click on to goods reserved. Select on to this goods reserved. Okay, now goods reserved is completed. Okay, now come back. Go to BL 33N. See, this is my inbound delivery. This is my inbound delivery. Okay. Now click on to this document flow. See here, goods reserve has done. It's been completed. Now let's check the inventory. Go to MMB. MMB. Okay, execute. Already 10 was there. Now let, let us check how many material has come. See, another 10 more has been added. Okay, now in material management, I'm going to do invoice certification. Go to MIRO. I'm going to do invoice certification. Enter invoice date. Reference, I'm going to give inbound delivery number. 
enter purchase order number i'll take it from here from the ppt go here enter this select on to input tax i'm selecting input tax non taxable zero baseline date go here let me check this also let me change it non taxable let me check non taxable so calculate tax 11000 is my tax amount 11000 is my tax amount simulate and post so i have done PO purchase order in S4 uh, system and inbound delivery in S4 system, boots reserved in EWM system, check the inventory, and then I have done invoice verification in inbound uh, in S4 system. Thank you. Thank you very much.